Well, the Metro Detroit community is on edge tonight after a cyber attack threatens personal records of students and staff in Centerline. Classes had to be canceled today as a result of that attack. It is a problem that has impacted schools in Michigan before. In 2022, a cyber attack shut down the South Redford School District for days. A similar incident happened at the University of Michigan just last August. And Ascension, Michigan is still dealing with a ransomware attack that happened weeks ago. Well, tonight's 7 News Detroit reporter Simon Shaykat is talking with concerned parents and the school district superintendent about the action being taken. For 2,500 students here in Centerline, a ransomware attack has led to the cancellation of classes and the district turning to the FBI for help. It's a troubling alert sent out to families in the Centerline School District, informing them of classes canceled due to a ransomware attack. I visited the district headquarters today, only to find their doors locked and a sign that they were closed taped to the door. Moments later, the superintendent of the district, Joe Haynes, met me outside, confirming that on late Saturday, hackers hit their servers. Prior to this attack, how much work had been done to keep your information a, safe? A ton. Parents I talked to also acknowledging how dangerous attacks like this can be. Hearing about a ransomware attack in this community, what goes through your mind? Just to enroll a kid in school, you know, got to have birth certificates, social security, and, you know, copies of a driver's license. Uh, when that's at risk, it's a uh, real concern. Pretty much everything in the school runs through our technology, whether it's um, our food service, uh, cameras, telephones, educational software. At this moment, the district says its IT staff is working closely with federal investigators to ensure safety of records and to track those responsible. I asked the superintendent about the scope of this breach before systems were shut down to mitigate damage. How safe are the records of the students and others? We don't know what was taken yet. So um, we have uh, a, a good number of servers, and I believe that they only uh, copied a couple of them. Parent Christina Wynn also spoke with me from her home nearby. Her greatest concerns involving long-term impact of this intrusion. It could be affecting them lifelong, you know, and uh, it's just something we... We should have protections in place already. They should just put more into security, cybersecurity, you know, hire people to kind of figure this stuff out where they could be more uh, proactive. The district says they're working around the clock to restore normal operations. So far, they're not saying what hackers demanded in ransom or how they broke through existing security. We've learned some district employees were able to spend the day working from home. At this point, the superintendent says it's unknown where that attack originated from. From Centerline, Simon Shea, Cat 7 News, Detroit. All right, thank you so much, Simon.